Good morning, family. I want to thank God. I want to thank King Jesus. I want to thank the Holy Spirit. And I want to thank the angels for another day, another opportunity to be here with you to spread love, peace, joy, truth, and hope to all who are watching. Praise God. So uh, like yesterday, you know, I was talking about the importance of of prayer and meditation. You know, prayer is uh, is talking to God and meditating is listening to God. And, you know, I was so grateful, you know, that God put two enlightened beings in my path to, to teach me how to how to seek God's face, you know, and, and, and not just talk to God, but to 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 sit and listen to God, you know. So, you know, like Psalm 4610 says, you know, be still and know I am God. And the way you be, you know, the only way you can be still is physically and mentally. And that's meditating. So, you know, when I did that for three months, God showed up, boy. And I'm telling you, you're not the same when God shows up. You know, when you seek God's face and he shows up, your spiritual eyes open up. And so, you know, you can see things from a higher uh, perspective. You can see things through, you know, your spiritual perspective. And when you see things from your spiritual eyes, there are no problems. There's only opportunities for growth. And you see everything as a positive. And, you know, so, you know, that's God, you know. Uh, there is no no negative, you know, when, you, when you're uh, rolling, you know, from a spiritual realm. But anyway, let me get on with this reading here. Uh... This is out, uh, this is out of covers Isaiah 40, uh, 28, 30 through 31. And it also covers step 11. We sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God, praying only for knowledge of his will for us and a power to carry that out. You know, I, I tried my best, you know, to uh, align my will with God's will, you know, and then become in sync. When, you're, when your will and God's will are in sync, that's a power nothing can stop. Praise God. And, and also, you man, that the, the, the freedom and the energy and the love, you know, I mean, it, 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 your light becomes so bright, you know, when, when you can align your will with God's will. And, you know, but when you seek his face and he, and he shows you who you are, it makes that process a lot easier. But uh, anyway, let me keep reading. We all want to recover as quickly as possible. Like I say, you know, everyone's got something, you know, to, to work on. Only one that was that's here that, that didn't have any uh, crosses to bear was Jesus. So, you know, uh, people can hide, you know, and lie like they don't have something. But uh, we, we already know. Everybody's got something. You know, when I was growing up as a kid, everybody made me feel like I was the only one that had issues. You know, as a kid, I thought, you know, everybody was perfect except for me. But, you know, as you grow and, and, and you get older and you start to understand... And, and, and you pay attention, you realize, well, they got stuff, too. They're just hiding it. Praise God. But you can't hide it from God. And also, when you get stuff you're hiding, there's gifts in that. So stop hiding that stuff and, and shine a light on it and get those gifts. Uh, the, the gifts I got out, out, of, out of my cross that I carried was God, a relationship with God. So, you know, you don't know what you're missing out on or, or what you're, what you're, uh, what you're uh, uh, pushing away because, you know, you choose not to look at your, your negative stuff. Look at that negative stuff and get those, get those gifts. It's hard to be patient as we wait for the process to work. Sure, we realize that we don't get to the difficult. We sure we realize that we didn't get to the difficult spot we are in overnight. We understand that we can't undo a lifetime of damage in just a few moments. That's the truth. But still, it is a challenge to wait patiently. Every part of the recovery process requires time and patience. Uh, patience is, is a, a spiritual uh, a tool, a spiritual principle. You know, honestly, open mind, willingness, patience uh, is all, you know, spiritual principles, you know, that, that I have, you know, chose to uh, incorporate in my daily life. And, you know, if you do that, you know, it gets you closer to God. It brings you closer to God because it does a job on the ego. And the ego is edging God out. So, uh, you know, deflate that ego and, and let God in, in more. This step also requires that we learn to wait for God. Hey, wait for God is worth it. I'm here to tell you. The prophet Isaiah gave us the promise, this promise. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. Ain't that the truth? Uh, uh, I didn't know I could make it this far and this long under the attacks that I go through every day. But I trust in God and I put my sights on God and 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 I've been able to make it. I'm going to make it all the way. I got God's words. And, and, and now, you know, I've become stronger in my father because the attacks that I go under has just all it's done is push me closer to God and, and, and made me stronger. 
and, and, and gave me more faith in my father because I, you know, I didn't realize, you know, that I could make it this far. And I couldn't on my own, but with God, all things are possible. Praise God. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 31. Jeremiah said, The Lord is good to those who depend on him, to those who search for him. So it is good to wait quietly, quietly for salvation from the Lord. Uh, praise God. That's Lamentations 3, 25, 26. Waiting on the Lord has its rewards. We can remain calm when it appears we aren't making any progress in recovery. You know, seeing things, you know, from my mental point of view, you know, I don't see the big picture. Uh, but when I when I rely on God and trust God, you know, God sees the big picture. That's where faith comes in, you know, trusting God. You know, it might not look and it might not happen when I want to, but God's working in the background. So trust God. He got your back. And he won't ever let you down like man and, and Satan will. As we learn to trust the Lord and wait on him, he will lift us up like the wind beneath the wings of an eagle. God gives us the strength and stamina to bear up under the strain so that we won't faint or collapse under it. As we develop patient, patient faith in God, we will be able to endure to the end of the race and win. When you roll with God, you're going to win. You won't never lose. God is undefeated. So make sure you're on God's team and not on Satan's team. Because Satan's team is the forever loser. And God's, if you're on God's team, you're the forever winner. And you have salvation because you got King Jesus. But anyway, that's all I have today, family. Let love reign in your life. There's no relationship greater than the one with our loving and glorious creator. I love you. God bless you. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day. Bye.